Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. It is 2 minutes Tuesday and I'll be talking about platform IO. I got the alien face from the previous video. If you haven't watched the previous video, I will have it linked in the description. Go and have a look at it. So what is platform IO? It's like a super cool version of Arduino IDE. It is trying to build an ecosystem where you will be able to program every different electronic development board out there. If you want to program an Arduino, yes, you can do it. The same Arduino code will work with it. If you want to program an ESP, that will work. If you want to program an Cortex M0, that will work. And hundreds of different boards from different companies. It will handle all the libraries, the tool chain, the compiling, uploading. Uh, everything is handled by the software and you just have to write the code. As of now, this platform IO is open source and it runs on Windows, Mac and also Linux. Uh, I would prefer Linux because Linux is bay. Another cool feature of it is that it can sit on top of your favorite text editor like Atom or VS Code or Sublime or Codeblocks and then function from in there. So you get the features from the uh, texture itself plus the feature from platform IO it's like the best of both worlds now you get support for github that's always awesome and on top of that it gives you so many more features it gives you uh, intelligent completion of the code then it gives you super awesome library management it gives you super awesome project management when you have multiple sketches and then bigger codes it has a built-in serial monitor and there are also command line tools for the nerds out there as of now, it supports more than 400 different uh, boards. I've already tried programming the Arduino Uno, the Cortex M3 and the uh, M0. I've tried programming uh, the ESP8866 and it works just fine. So if you guys have been using the Arduino ID from quite a while and looking for something better, you should take a look at this. This is awesome. This could easily be the next big thing which could bring in uh, revolution <laughs> which could bring in a revolution in the whole embedded development atmosphere so yep and if you want to know more about it i'll have it linked in the description and if you have checked it out if you want to know more about it there is a 500 pages big documentation feel free to go through it thank you for watching check out my other videos and give a like if you liked it and subscribe